Let's solve them one by one. We have seen that by taking server as a relay, we can achieve end-to-end -end encryption. So let's take forward secrecy. Here we are using RSA algorithm to do key exchange. We have already seen this method in TLS basics and fundamentals. Here, if by any chance private key get leaked and hacker has captured all packet from beginning, then entire conversations will get exposed. Do we have any other method to do key exchange? Let's find. Alice and Bob want to exchange key. They will use special match formula to exchange key. All communication here is in plain text and open to everyone till key exchange finish. Alice come up with one simple match formula called x raised to y equal to r. Define value of x equal to 3. Generate random value for y equal to 5. This is the secret of Alice. Using these two values, calculate value of r called ra. Accept y, send all other information to Bob. Bob receive this information and generate random value for y equal to 3. This is the secret of Bob. Calculate r called rb. Send it to Alice. After receiving information from Bob, Alice reconsiders same formula. In this formula, Alice replaces value of x with rb and calculate the key. On the other side, Bob also consider same formula. Replace x with ra. Calculate the key. Here you can see that both has kept their y value secret and still derive same key. The essence of the formula is this. I hope you understand this method. Now you must have question here that if we expose value of x and value of r then it will be easy for anyone to calculate value of y. How to secure private info or secret? Let's understand how reverse engineering works in maths. Let's say I have formula x plus y equal to r. From value of y and r I want to derive value of x. I can use x equal to r minus y means plus has reverse operator minus. Same way multiplication has reverse operator division. x raised to y equal to r. To get value of x I can use root. Again x raised to y equal to r. To get value of y I can use logarithm. So, how can I protect value of y which is secret of user? There is one operator in maths which has no reverse operation. The operator is modulo. This will return reminder. For example, when you do 5 divided by 2 then reminder is 1. Let's take one formula. x module 5 is 1. What could be the value of x? It could be 1, 6, 11, 16 and guess will goes to infinite. Means we cannot reverse the result even though we know all values except x. Let's see how can we use this in our formula to protect user's secret. Alice come up with slightly different formula. You can see the change in formula. Alice take x equal to 7, z equal to 23, generate value of y equal to 12, Alice secret. Calculate ra. Accept y, send all other information to Bob. Now Bob generate y equal to 15. 
Bob's secret. Calculate RB. Send it to Alice. Alice reconsider formula. Replace X with RB and calculate the key. On the other side, Bob also reconsiders same formula. Replace X with RA. Calculate the key. You can see here how both has protected their secret info and still derive the same key. If someone on network capture all information exchanged between Alice and Bob, then also he cannot derive same key. Of course, in actual, the formula is more complex and values are 2000 bit to 4000 bit long. So it is extremely difficult to brute force. I hope you understand this formula and key exchange method. So before proceeding to our original problem statement, let's see founder of this formula and method. Whitefield Diffie, Martin Hallman. These two mathematicians has defined this formula in 1976. And later Ralph Markel has made it stronger. Basically, he came up with criteria on how to choose value to make this formula much stronger. And this formula is named as diffie hallman markel More formally, we are calling it diffie hallman And this is the way they have presented formula. So let's come back to our problem statement. Forward secrecy. How can we resolve the problem? Let's use this formula. So we do not need RSA keys and the RSA call flow as well. But we need RSA key for identity management. Anyway, that will be separate things. Let's consider key exchange only. Alice is generating secret y equal to 12. Send formula and all public information to Bob. When Bob receives all information, he is generating secret y equal to 15 and derive common key. Send result to Alice. On receive information from Bob, Alice also derive common key. And they have established a secure channel. You can see here that there is no dependency to hold this secret for a long. Each time you can generate new secret. Based on that, you can exchange new key. So, this secret is ephemeral. Ephemeral means short living and periodically get change. Enhance, if your private key get compromised, then also your communication will remain protected. Now you might have question that if ephemeral key will solve the issue, then we can generate private key each time before establishing connection and keep private key short living. The answer is private key is directly associated with identity and same as public key. And we cannot change identity frequently. That is why RSA keys are long living keys. I hope you understand as of now. So before picking up our next problem, let's understand Diffie Hallman with different use case. Let's understand file vault basics and fundamentals. For that, we will develop file vault. What is file vault? This is my hard disk. This is boot section. This is metadata section. All OS and users login related informations are stored here. This is my file system. This I want to encrypt. So what is the issue? I will take password from user. Using password I will encrypt my file system. And password is stored into user's brain. The issue is if user lost password then is there any way to decrypt file system? Let's give recovery support to our solution. Let's take password from user. Generate recovery key, a random number. 
Bring Diffie-Hellman formula. Define constant values. Using this formula, generate public info. Using cross combination means password and public info of recovery key or recovery key and public info of password. Generate a common key. Use the key to encrypt hard disk. Store public information and constant into metadata section. Password store into user's brain. Recovery key is in locker. This looks good. But what happen if my company enforce me to change password? On change password, my key get changed and I have to re-encrypt entire hard disk. And re-encryption of entire hard disk will take hours of time. So how do I provide password change support? Let's generate password key. A random number. Generate recovery key. Another random number. Bring Diffie-Hellman formula. Define constant values. Using this formula, generate public information. Using cross combination, generate a common key. Use this key to encrypt hard disk. Store public information and constant into metadata section. Now, what to do with password key? Where to store? Let's take password from user. Encrypt password key with password and store encrypted password key into metadata section. User password store into user's brain. Recovery key store into locker. If user has to change password, then need to re-encrypt password key only. That's it. Now our password change is very quick. This method can be improved further, but I am leaving it to you. The conclusion is, using Diffie-Hellman formula, we can solve various security related problems as well. Actual file system or actual file vault may vary and involve various combinations of formulas to achieve strong security. This is about file vault basics with support of recovery key and password change.